well, 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 what is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is your Tessic, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Tropical 6 Sandbox Gameplay Part 1. This is Season 4. We're on Season 4, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go ahead and get us started. If you're new here, let me tell you something. This is what I do. I've done Capitals Island, Military Dictatorship Island, Islands at Hard Difficulty. So we try to give ourselves different chances in Tropical 6. If you're not new here, you know what, what I do. Today, we're going to start a new game, a sandbox game. What I'm gonna try to do in this in this series or season is kind of give you tutorials as I go along. Not necessarily as make the whole season a tutorial, but give you tutorials as I go along. And today's tutorial is gonna be or tips and tricks is how to start your island in Tropical Six. So I'm gonna show you how I start my island. Of course, it can be very subjective from person to person. Uh, there's really no right or wrong way to play tropical six and i always keep saying that to people there's no right or wrong way but this is my way this is how i start an island and if you know me and or you go scroll through my channels if you're new here you can see that we've always had successful islands in tropical this is not an issue for us so i'm trying to find an island that i haven't played but unfortunately for a seasoned tropical six player that's uh that's easier said than done because i really played most of these uh, look at that. Wow. That's kind of like the one from Dubai. I don't like I don't like it though. I don't like this island. Um, man, this is difficult. All right, you know what? I'm going to surprise myself. We're going to go with a custom map. We're going to go huge. Maybe huge or large. That's fine. Landmass, go. Yeah. Be, we'll, go, we'll go huge. Plateaus, whatever. Common, uncommon. We'll just put common. Islands. I, I like some. I don't like too many islands. Actually, I'm probably going to go few. I don't like too many islands. You know, main island, medium. Um, no, let's make the main island large. Climate, normal. Climate, vis uh, variations, whatever. Medium, resources. We'll go balanced. We don't want rich. We don't want it too easy. Or um, volcanoes, random. That's fine with me. Um, we're going to start off colonial area, 200 citizens. Again, we're, we already tried a difficulty, really extreme difficulty islands. So we're gonna go with 200,000. We're not trying to make, we're trying to have fun here. Um, Caribbean happiness or uh, foreign aid, we're gonna go fair. Um, actually, no, let's keep it a symbolic. Keep it a little difficult in some areas. Caribbean happiness, average, demanding. Demanding is fine with me. Opposition, difficulty. Moderate is fine with me. Disaster is rare. Uh, pirates, I don't really, that's, that's fine with me. We're not gonna have any conditions of victory let's start it hopefully it doesn't look ugly but i'm very very excited like i said as i'm going with the first episode i'll give you tips on how i start my island in tropical six so you can see how to start your island in tropical six this is sandbox gameplay very very excited listening to music el presidente is back ladies and gentlemen and this is a top tier gaming channel so go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are new here and if you're not go ahead and hit the like button so there we go let's take a look first thing i do oh dang Oh, dang, this is huge. I like it. I like it like this. Two islands, somewhat decent sized islands. A lot of, you can actually build up here. You see the, actually no, you probably can't. So we got a lot of big mountain in the middle. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, so the, one of the first things that I do is I go look at the, um, at the resources, see where we're at. So sh corn, actually not the best. Sugar, fair enough. Uh, so you're, you're seeing a lot of yellowish, like greenish pockets. You're not seeing a lot of dark green pockets. So that's kind of an issue, but that's that's fine. You got some gold here. You got some coal here. One thing I noticed about Tropical 6, I don't know if it's just me, so let me know, is that the more you play on the game, the more like resources start popping up. Maybe the more things you research. Who knows? Anyways, so the first thing I do is we look at, obviously, we know we're going to have a lot of homeless. We're going to have a lot of unemployed. 176 homeless, 156 employed. So the first thing is we're going to go ahead and build a few houses. And I'm going to show you what's the first jobs that I lay out for my people that are kind of winning win together. So let's go ahead and lay a few houses here. Now, one thing that I really, really, really have to advise you do not worry about how your island looks at first. Do not worry or spend too much time or money trying to make the roads look so good. You can change things later. Don't worry about it. Your island is going to change a lot. Don't worry about how janky it looks. You're not here to make it look pretty. You're here to make it look work at first. Okay, we can worry about making it look pretty later and we will do that. So we're going to build a few bunk houses and we're going to build a few country houses. Got to get a, uh, a mix here. And there we go. 
So we got that. We got this. Perfect. Let's go, El Presidente. Now, we're going to extend it out. We're going to extend it out. Wow, I've never seen an island that starts off with a dock not connected to the road. That's amazing. Okay. So we're going to start off, and now we're going to build some plantations. Again, there's no... Some people say, no, I build this is more money. Build that is more money. Listen, we're trying to set up an island that's sustainable that feeds our people and that gives jobs right off the bat. So this is why we go for the simple things. You wanna complicate it, knock yourself out, man. You play this game however you wanna play it. But I'm telling you, if you wanna, if you wanna follow my ways and have a good, decent island or you're not millions of dollars negative in the bank, just do what I'm telling you. So start off with plantations and ranches. And that should do wonders for you. That should do wonders for your island. Let's go ahead, let's go, let's go, Jarmy, let's go. All right, and now we're gonna go this way now. And we're gonna take a look at the cattle ranches, you know, gives us some meat. Gives us some meat, some hides, you know, no problem, no problem. Put one here, put one here. Let's take a look at the sheep, gives us some milk. So, uh, like, uh, fortunately, this island looks like it's gonna be a little bit hard as far as vegetation, but that's okay. We want a little bit of a challenge. We don't want it too easy for us, right? So we go ahead like this. Now, I go in the edex and you take, take a look at what what works out for you obviously right now not too many no free lunches for the leave everything unlocked for now don't complicate it right now we've done with houses we've done with a few jobs not too many but there's another thing that you really should consider building first is a couple of construction offices of course construction offices don't make you money but you're gonna need them to make sure your island's infrastructure is being built as soon as possible and i wouldn't suggest quick building a whole lot of things when you first start off with but go ahead and quick build the construction offices because you need people in there as, as fast as possible another question i get asked a lot should you worry about the budget do not worry about the budgets at first i i wouldn't even touch budgets honestly till cold war Maybe in World War, start adjusting some things here and there, but I wouldn't worry about budgets till Cold War. Do not worry about budgets in the colonial area. Worry about giving people jobs, giving people job uh, houses, feeding them, which is coming up next with a grocery store, and uh, and worry about getting your independence. That's what you're gonna need to worry about now. That's all you need to worry about now. So here we go. This is getting built. We're gonna go ahead fast forward a little bit as you can see our mandate is five years eight months left so we better get our independence then we should be getting a uh, there we go okay no problem so they want some some fish i'm okay with that that's a win-win for me i get the revolutionary support and i get more of a food source on my island and more of a money source on my island but again this island is proven to be a little challenging it seems when it comes to resources because I'm not there's some fish right here a few on the other side so it looks like it's on the other side of the island but there you go I wouldn't extend out too far if I were you so if you see like you know you want fish and there's a lot on this side and there's only a few fish wharfs or deposits on this side don't worry about it just just take what we can get right now one is enough okay fish is like 600 I knew that so we're gonna quick build that and we're gonna quick build this because they're both 600 like I said, man, you don't want to quick build everything, but stuff like this, it's fine to just a little spice it up a little bit, all right? So there they go. They're about to move in pretty soon. These, I'll be surprised if these are not filled up rather quickly. And once they're filled up rather quickly, we get to kind of have an idea of how many houses we need. But usually build six bunk houses, six country houses, wait a little bit, see how much more you need, and go from there. So we got another request. More, Governor. More. Always more. Okay, what do you want? To it. Build the a dungeon. Demands. Wow, that's a weird one. They usually tell you, like, build uh, or do an export trade route. So they want a dungeon. So you kind of want to take the, the crown demands at first because this right here. Extend mandate time by 18 months. I'm telling you, a lot of times it came close where you thought five years was enough. You're going to get re revolutionary support. Not, you don't get it that fast, man. So... Just be a little careful with that. So they want a dungeon. Can I even... Do I even have a dungeon a lot? Let me see. Yes, I do. Okay, so they want a dungeon, I guess. Uh, I don't like this. Does not help me in any way, shape, form. I don't plan on, on using it anytime soon. But, hey, we're kind of tied by the, you know what, here, right? We're trying to... I'm trying to keep the Tropical 6 without cursing. Family-friendly. Kid-friendly. So, but, you know... They, you're pretty much, your hands are tied right here. So homelessness is dipping down a little bit. Like I said, we'll see. We got 17 vacant homes. And uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to wait. So these are kind of the beginning steps of it. Ranches, plantations, houses. Make sure you do a few demands here and there. I'll be surprised if we, yeah, there's nothing in there that's going to be going out. So that's not surprising to me. Let's go. Let's go. 
All right, so we got done with this one. Now, you don't want the money right now. You want the mandate. So we're going to extend it. Bam, we got four or uh, we got about 18 more months. Not about exactly 18 more months. For the most part, everything seems to be going spiffy. The homeless is going down quite fast, so that's nice. There's still a lot of few houses vacant. So now you start looking at things like industries, right? What is the first industry that I always advise is rum distillery. It's very popular. It makes a lot of money, but obviously... You need sugar plantation. So another thing I advise the rum distillery is because it does not take a whole lot of resources. You literally just need sugar. That's all you need. You don't need electricity. You don't need anything else but sugar. So that's that's why I really, really like it. Obviously, you can go ahead and add more things as um, as you have electricity, but we don't, we don't, we're not worried about the upgrades right now. Uh, let's go ahead and just make this street like this. Again, we're not worried about how the island looks. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but trust me, don't worry about how it looks right now. Just worry about getting it set up on his feet. Okay, thank you. We're going to take the 10 revolutionary immigrants because we're going to have more of a revolution support on the island as far as population. So, bam, there you go. Another thing you want to just do as you go along, these are these are things not necessarily you have to do right off the bat, but I advise you just to kind of, you got to keep, especially if you're going for a normal island, you got to keep an eye on the habitus a little bit. It's just build something religious, you know, like a chapel or something like that. Now, you might you might say the tutorial or you might think tropical is just all about making money making money at first it's not you got to try different things you got to do different things to make sure you know you're covering all bases basically so homelessness is still a little bit high and all these houses is good so that tells me oh see like the country houses nobody's even oh wow so only a very few people in the country houses because country houses are more of the well-off residents bunk houses are more for the broke residents slash poor residents so that's why that's why the bunk houses they're not really doing what they need to do or the country houses because a lot of our citizens are poor right now. So we're gonna go ahead and build a few more of them. Gonna build one here, one here. Gonna build one here. Most likely these will be gone in about 30 years in game time. So we're gonna build a few bunk houses here. This is good. Fulfill export trade route. Perfect. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about next. So now. You're not gonna get the best export trading routes, obviously, first off the bat. You're just not gonna do it. You're, you're not gonna get it. So you're gonna take something just easy. The reason why, you're not gonna have good prices, and your only goal right now is to fulfill, uh, satisfy the mandate. So we're gonna take sugar. We're only gonna take 525 units because we know we got sugar. Bam, signed. In a little bit, this should be done. All right, so we got this, we got that. We're building the houses, got the mandate going. Let's go ahead and build them a little tavern here so they can go ahead and enjoy themselves a little bit, give us some jobs, give them some happiness. And you know what? Never too early to have a circus. Gotta go ahead and unlock the blueprint again. This is, this ends up making us money anyway, sooner or later. So kind of making different uh, incomes of money, right? This is gonna be internal kind of economy, internal revenue that we'll need. So here's a dungeon. The dungeon, obviously, you could put people in it. We got one coming up. Build a library. There you go. This is... These are kind of... Uh-oh. We're already getting... What is this? We're getting attacked by who? By when? Who's attacking us? I've never... This might be a new one. I've never seen an attack this early. I have never seen an attack this early. So this is very, very... This is very strange. This is very strange. Oh, pirates. So pirates are attacking Tropical. That's who's attacking us right now. All right. So they're fighting back. I've never been attacked by pirates before. So this is new to me. So this is pretty new to me. It looks like they're going down pretty quickly. Uh, maybe we need Pirate Cove. Who knows? That's what we're going to do next, actually. We're going to build a Pirate Cove. But this is very interesting, you know? Now, the reason why I took a break off Tropical is because the gorillas and... and, and feel quite right, Governor. Ha okay, we got it. So we need uh, we need 60 Presidente. of that. But like I was saying, the reason why I stopped playing Tropical for a little bit is because I just felt like the whole... How can I say? The whole military system was just so broken. Apparently, there's been an update for it over, over the months that I haven't played it. And uh, that, should, that should make things better. We'll see. But we got pirates, so that kind of makes me think if we're getting attacked this early, not that I want to spend money on military just yet, but we do need money on military. We're going to go ahead and build a pirate cove first and foremost. Maybe that will make us, uh, that make them a little happier with us. And we're going to go ahead and build a 
a fort somewhere. Can I move this? I cannot move it. Uh, yeah, you can right there. Um, uh, there we go. We'll just move it to the side there. Perfect. And we're gonna go military again. I don't want to spend money on the fort. It's gonna cost me six thousand with the blueprint. Uh, but kind of needed. Kind of needed at this. Is it urgent? No, but better safe than sorry, especially if you're getting attacked this early. So, so there we go. We're still in hundred thousand. Of course, we started with two hundred thousand. We're trying to make it hard in some areas, easy in other areas. But for the most part, we're doing pretty good. Sugar is done. So now again, we're gonna extend the mandate one more time by eighteen months. Better safe than sorry because revolutionary support is going pretty well with us. But we want to make sure that we got this in the bag. So research. We got some research open here. We're gonna go ahead with. We're gonna go ahead and go with employee of the month because that kind of encourages them to work longer hours, basically. So oh, look at that circus, tavern. We're good. We're good. Let's take a look real quick. Never to really take a look at your revenue, expenses. That's because construction is in the in the mix. I wish they didn't add construction and expenses, um, because it kind of gives you a, a wrong idea here, as you can see. But. Export so we're making some money off sugar making some money off corn some hides now We can go ahead and start thinking about putting our first industry aka rum distillery That's even already already unlocked for us. So that's very very nice um, I'm gonna actually go over here for this one extend it out this way la, 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 la. All right, there we go rum distillery is up We are in great shape here in our island Military force is about to be open. Do, 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 do. We gotta put more guards, add four more positions for the guards because we need it. The crown has just sent us an urgent report. Okay, the prices of oil increased by 20. The price of gold have decreased by 25. So we don't have either. I'm not worried about, about that right now, to be quite frank with you. We will look at rum. Well, we don't have the rum signed just yet. So do we have anything signed that we have right now? We don't. We're gonna go take... 900 units of rum, sign it with them, whatever, keep going. So there we go. Um, this should have been built. Do I have any updates for it? Not yet. The worker has their healthcare, blah, blah, blah. I'm not worried about that. We're not worried about healthcare at this point in the island or this stage of the island. So 61 unemployed, 83 homeless. Keeps going down and down and down. There's there's vacant homes, of course. You can check that by going homeless citizen. And you see by, uh, sorry, where, where is it? Where is it? by vacant homes. So they're 34 homeless family, but they're 35 vacant homes. They can figure it out themselves, right? Revolutionary support dropped down for us. Why did it drop down so much? I'll have a percentage of it be 44. Okay, so we need 60% of the population to be revolutionary, folks. We built the library. What do you guys want? What? Do, oh, I built a newspaper. Oh, duh. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, whatever. I guess we built a newspaper, so it is what it is. Uh, we're not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna demolish it or anything like that right, right now at least so go ahead and build the library go ahead and high Priority since there's nothing else being built. We got three construction offices. So the next thing that I would advise you to build Just tips to when you start off this island. It's nice is, to have choices, isn't it? What do you want the now? Choices like Fulfill trade route. Governor. We're already doing that uh, another thing that I advise you eventually will only have one Teamsters office is to build another Teamsters office to kind of move your goods around. The more things you add, the more you need goods to be moved around. So there we go. Bam. We took the 10, uh, the 10 uh, revolutionaries should add up with our stuff. So as you can see, as you can see, this is why you take the mandate as much as you could. Now we need a, I uh, said I was going to do a Teamsters office to kind of help us move our goods around the island. And that's exactly what I'm going to do by building a Teamsters office, bam, over here. And this is good. It should be getting sugar in. It's already getting sugar in. Awesome. Great. Decreases sugar consumption. Oh, there they go again. I don't know what the hell is up with the pirates attacking. That's very weird. Anyways, I told you don't worry about upgrades. In this case, just take this upgrade because it's got to decrease the sugar consumption for you. We won't have that many sugar plantations. Why are they attacking? I, I don't... I don't... This is very, very new to me. This is very, very new to me. The, the pirates attacking like this left and right. I hope it's not going to be like that with the gorillas because that means they didn't really fix anything. So there they go. What are they... Are you guys attacking my pirate cove? Hey! Hey, leave it alone, man. Or my, my rum distillery, I just built that. Leave it alone. Let's go. They're coming. The jar is coming. <laughs> whoop their butts. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah. They're going to whoop their butt. They're whooping their butt. And bye-bye. So the military fort was a good investment after all, right? 
So there we go. I'm again. I'm not sure what's going on with this. I've never had a pirate cove want to attack us this bad. Um, it's very, very weird. Very, very unfortunate. So we're gonna take some. We're gonna start off with taking some sugar. Take a little more sugar. This way. There we go. There we go. Awesome. 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 For the most part, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. We're doing phenomenal. We're doing great. We're doing what we need to do. Produce score. No problem, baby girl. We'll produce score. So they're giving me easy ones for the revolutionary for the most part. The pirates are giving me a hard time. And the mandate is not. The mandate is pretty easy as well. As you can see, the corn is being produced. We're in, a, we're in an excellent shape starting off this island. All right, we completed yet another revolutionary demand. So we're pretty good for the most part, right? And they take a look at the homelessness. It's went down. Um, there's not homeless families, but there's 31 vacant homes. So yeah, they can they can figure out there's enough for poor and There's enough for the well-off, right? And uh, we take a look at At the at the jobs we can build a few more jobs obviously as we go along, but we are we're we're doing pretty good for ourselves Let's go ahead and just see a We can go with a tannery because we do we do get some hides, but yeah, We could go with a tannery. That's, that's not a problem. We can go with that Cause there are some heights coming out from the from the ranches that we have and we're already exporting them out anyways so we could go with, with that but anyways ladies and gentlemen this is how i start off my island in tropical six and this is how you can start off your tropical six island to make sure you set up the right path again a lot of people like to complicate it all this stuff i like to keep it simple as you can see in a short little bit of time and there we go good in a short little bit of time we accomplish a lot we're almost we're almost right there where we can get we're gonna get our independence i would assume that's gonna happen next episode but with that being said go ahead and hit the like button for me and if you're new here please subscribe and become part of the jail army so we can defeat the pirates and the gorillas and the rebels together as well all right guys my name is your testing and i am out see you guys